is up everyone my name is ross and if you're new here and you want to learn more about photoshop photography and other various forms of multimedia witchcraft i highly suggest you hit that subscribe button today and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss a thing today i had many of you ask me actually let's be realistic i had one person ask me but i take all of your requests very seriously um but the request was how do you remove uh the white paper background from a charcoal drawing or a a pencil drawing or just any kind of artwork so today this is gonna be a quick tip but I think it's one thing that's very overlooked in Photoshop it's how to remove uh, basically a color range or a luminosity range within Photoshop so let's hop in to Photoshop today this image is actually one of my own if you didn't know I used to be a mediocre artist at best uh, this is a charcoal drawing I did probably around um, while I was in college I can see my signature here it says it was an 09 and this is a very young uh, Jay Leno right here in a plaid shirt so let's go over why you would want to maybe remove the white background from a drawing the 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 one and only use case I can see this for is if you need to uh, print this on like uh, say a t-shirt or a different colored background uh, t-shirt probably makes the most sense so let's say we wanted to take this and put it on a blue t-shirt or a yellow t-shirt well if we try to print it like this and we send this to any of the on-demand printing uh, sites that are online it's gonna print white where this paper is and we don't want that we probably want the shirt to show through so we're gonna show you how to do that so let's hop into Photoshop the first thing I'm going to do uh, is just make sure there's no other layers there was a background layer in here originally but I've deleted it but essentially once you get your artwork in here you're just gonna double click on it and it's gonna bring up this layer style and blending options menu this is very important and it's a very overlooked tool in Photoshop we're gonna play with this thing down here called blend if and because this is a black and white image we're just gonna play in gray but you can see you can also target the red green and blue because we are in an RGB uh, space here if I cancel this and go to my image mode you can see I'm in a red green blue color color mode so all we got to do is double click on this bad boy it brings up layer style and then we're just gonna play with these sliders I'm gonna see if I can kind of get this all in here well you'll see it in the background here basically if we just grab this uh, this slider that's on this layer on the highlights if we pull this down you'll see what happens you can see the checkered board or the transparency start to bleed through now this is looking pretty harsh right well the thing the cool thing with this is you got this slider and if you hold the option or alt key on a PC you can split these and that's gonna give us like a feathered look and you can see it's much 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 it's much much softer and it's not as harsh of a transition so I'm gonna drag this down and pull this up a little bit and we can hit OK now the beautiful thing about this is it's non-destructive so if I didn't like how this was looking I could double click on this again and it's still there we haven't flattened our image so it's still there so I'm gonna hit OK and to, to drive this home even more I'm gonna add a new solid color adjustment layer we're gonna give it kind of like a nice bright blue and I'm gonna drop it to the background and you can see what this is doing it's knocking out that white uh, that white paper and once again you can double click on this and you can make this even more intense if you want or lessen it uh, it's kind of to your liking but I mean there you go that quickly you can drop out or knock out any whites in your image now here's the cool thing you can do the reverse of this too let's say you wanted the white parts for whatever reason well let's double click on this bad boy let's reset this and now we can creep in the black points and feather that out and this is gonna look really really weird but I just want to show you uh, to demonstrate what this tool can do it's, it's very good when you're trying to blend lighting effects uh, with other manipulations in Photoshop but it's really useful if you need to print anything like on a t-shirt and you want to get rid of that white background or let's say you have a logo that you're trying to knock out you have someone provided you a flat image and it's got a white background boom you can knock this out using blend if so the way I would do this now let's just wrap this up I'm not gonna need that color background I basically had that in there just to see or to pretty much gauge what is blending and where so I'm thinking this is looking pretty good but boom get rid of this now all I would do is go file export save for web legacy this is my preferred method but basically we just want to save out a PNG file make sure it's PNG 24 and you just save it as a transparent PNG you also have to make sure that the, the transparency is checked up here and that's all you have to do to get a white background knocked out of your image in Photoshop. It's a very quick and easy way to basically make a transparent PNG if you're just using the black and white, the white sliders in Blend If. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Let me know below. And I will see you guys next time.